It's a fresh episode of the program, Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure with my humble self, Sarah to Sanctuary. I'm always elated, making a date with you at this hour of the day. Welcome. Are you planning a trip to Nigeria? Or you were in Nigeria and looking for something to do? One fun idea or activity you have to include in your itinerary, without a doubt, is to try out the food. As a multi-ethnic country, Nigeria is a fertile ground for fabulously delicious delicacies from the east, west, north and south to virtually every corner in between the country. There are a plethora of spice-rich, flavorful dishes that ties Nigerians together. Chef Fatima will be tweaking one of the South East Nigerian savory dishes her way. Take a look at her profile. consists of dishes or food items from the hundreds of ethnic groups that comprise our country. Our fists are colorful and lavish. Like many West African cuisines, known also for being spicy because we use spices and herbs to create deeply flavored sauces and soups. Chef Fatima, we're always glad to have you on set of the program. Bon appetit. Yeah, and what's the deal right here today? Okay, today we are having um, a, a Nigerian cuisine from the eastern part of the country. I guess what? We have a lot of flavors to go with. That is our natural ingredients, our natural flavors. You can see them on a display. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are having our chicken unkwabi today. The usual unkwabi people go for is the cow leg unkwabi. But refreshing today, refreshing. yes, I'm trying to give it a twist because that is all what food is all about. Getting a nice twist, giving it a touch, and of course, you have to make it innovative. Even if you don't invent, yes, because innovative meaning adding to what has been in existence while trying to keep of course natural flavor. originality yeah originality is very important yeah all right beautiful i am looking forward to seeing how it unfolds and i believe the feeling is mutual with my viewer out there yeah so fasten your seatbelts we're about to begin the gastronomic tour let's take you Okay, haven't given you what we have. That is the menu, which is chicken unkobi. We have our agidi, a kind of a fluffy agidi. But it might surprise you say that fluffy white agidi. Hmm? We use black pot to make it, hmm. but it turns out to be white. That is the African secret. Wow. So it it has this uh, uh, flavor of the earthen pot. Yes, 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 yes. Is it wrapped in the Of course, no, no, no. We don't wrap it in beef. We use plastic. Oh, right. right. So, um, so let's just quickly introduce the recipe itself. That is the ingredient. Yeah, when I say recipe, some persons might be confused over there. So we are introducing the recipe. One, we have the chicken itself. Yeah, cut into pieces, medium size, please, not too big 
not too sizable chunks. Yeah, so that you can just have a bite and you. So the next item on the list, we have the onion. That is the red onion chops. We have our red oil. Please, oil is one of the most important ingredients here. Make sure you get that light, original village oil. Mm -hmm. Yes, original. Everybody now claims to sell village oil, but to tell you the truth, village oil is always a village oil. Then you have the umba. Umba is also one of the primary ingredients. Primary ingredient means without that ingredient, your recipe is not complete. Wow. Yes. Then of course we have some ginger. So I'm infusing this ginger. It's not actually part of the original recipe. So I try to the infuse. Infuse. Yes, I try to infuse it just to give it that different um customized flavor. Like boiling yes. chicken with some ginger. Fantastic. Yeah. But what we are trying to do is to create a twist around the cooking. Okay, then we have the utazi. We also have the potash. Blended potash, but I soaked it in water just to have the right thing I need. The essence is to get it infused in water so that I can actually achieve my primary objectives. We have the onion, red onion cut in ring. Remember, I chopped this in cubes, then I cut this in ring. Why this is that? Okay, fantastic. This comes in as the garnishing part while I'm using this for the chicken. So well with you. Yes. Then here I have my calabash nutmeg, which is one of the major ingredients. Then we have seasoning. Seasoning can be any seasoning of your choice. Then we have the chili pepper, powdered chili pepper, because it has to be pepperish. Yeah. If you go to the east, when we meet at the joint, normally we know what happens there. <laughs> Pepe is the universal thing in West yes, Africa. Yes, we online yes. it. We also have the crayfish. Then I also bring in this. This is my scotch bonnet. I try to infuse scotch bonnet just to give it that colorful look. Though so it's not part of the local ingredient, but since I'm trying to give it a twist. I also infuse this. We have the Oziza seed. So I also take my time to blend the Oziza seed so I can have it infused more on the cooking. So having introduced the recipe itself, let's move straight ahead to the cooking. So first we add our chicken. Then next we have the spices. Next we have the crayfish. Next we have my sacred ingredient, which is Chef Fatima special condiment, the CFC. Then, of course, we have the calabash nutmeg. Then, you take your time to stir this. You stir as a form of marinade. Yes, a form of marinade. Because all the ingredients need to infuse to get that perfect at the end of the day. You add some stock to it. Then, of course, you have your lid, you cover the lid. We are to boil this for at least 10 minutes just to get it tender. Then, what proportion of each of those seasonings do you put? Of course, 2.5 ml each so that you don't use one to overshadow the other because they are all natural flavor and they are all strong, very strong. So one can overshadow the other one. That is why we make sure we get the right proportion. proportion. Yes, please. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to make our sauce. Yes, you need sauce for, and you can imagine, African food are so mm, lovely. They are so original that every single thing you do is being sourced locally. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cream cuisine is a flavorful. This flavor is local. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. The chicken itself smells in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting pretty, right? Yes, please. <laughs> so, 
cover back the lid. Just about in two minutes time, we're done with that. So, while this is still on, let's prepare our sauce. Now we start with the sauce. Mm -hmm. Since the chicken is almost, so we need to allow the spot to get dry out. I can as well drain it out. So, the sauce part is what I love most. Why? Yeah, because the outcome, the combination is something you can't get anywhere. Yes, except in Nigeria. Exactly. You know we are blessed. <laughs> yes. Only person that understands food will know that Nigerian or Africans are actually blessed. And that food. is why I always implore, especially our visitors, to be um, uh, adventurous. Yeah. Explore. There's so yes. much to taste in Nigeria. Yeah. And your taste buds will thank you. Yes, but <laughs> So, the first thing we have here, you allow the spots to get dry. Then you add the red oil. Remember, this red oil is village oil. Mm -hmm. Village oil. Yes, I don't care which village it comes from. Then you bring in your potash. You are adding this potash gradually. And then you sweet take. Yes, please. Wow. Can you see? You get that thick sauce. Hmm. So you see this. The oil and the potash coagulate together. So we have this. So we haven't gotten this. The next thing, you start adding your spices. Here we have the oziza seed. We add the oziza seed. Next, you add your pepper. That is the chili pepper. You add and stir at the same time. Next, you have your crayfish. Next, we have the scotch bonnet. Okay. Yes. Next, you have the calabash nutmeg. Then you have the CFC. Okay, so look at what we have. You can see we paste. have a very thick paste from the sauce. Then you add your uba at this. But I'll still keep a little bit for garnishing later. Then, of course, you have your seasoning to taste. So, at this junction, we'll start picking out the chicken straight to the sauce. Mm. Because the chicken is already cooked. That is why, when you are preparing salt dish, you just have to get your chicken cooked to almost 80% before kickstarting with the sauce. Mm. We turn off the heat from the chicken. Then we pick the chicken one after the other and put it straight to the sauce. And please, my umpobi, usually I want it flowing. This to create that wow <laughs> look to the person consuming it at the end of the day. Stir this together. This. You can. The range is off. You don't need the fire. No, no, no. For now, hmm. for now, you are just going to cover this for it to what simmer for about two minutes. For about two minutes. So at this point, we on back the flame and get this simmer for just about two minutes, and we're good. So every single item here is going in for what? Garnishing and the presentation. This remaining item. Yes, please. We still have our remaining uba. We still have the otazi. Then we have our ring onion. That is the red onion. Yes. Yes, please. And it's also allowed to add more ingredients for the presentation purpose. Fantastic, because I'm still gonna bring some red, okay. just to give it that colorful look. Mm -hmm. Imagine red and green. Mm -hmm. Red, green, and you get a perfect 
look. So you can see how saucy this look. Mm -hmm. Some persons will do this on Kobe and allow it to be too dry. You know, Kobe, you need to, you know, you use your hand for this particular. Mm -hmm. You like <laughs> ah, that is a that is in an African way. With this, we are good with the cooking. So now, what remains is just the garnishing and presentation. Oh my god, I can't wait to. Wow. Sizzling hot. In fact, <laughs> this. Just the right consistency. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you can see it has a lot of sauce to go with. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you are using this to take a dip. If it's too dry, you might not just enjoy what you're eating. I agree. Yeah. So now, less plates. Oh my gosh. Remember, this is a locally made plate as well. Mm -hmm. So everything here is just too natural for me. Yeah. So, if you want to impress an Eastern person, please give him this. You have wow, his day. <laughs> you ever remain grateful to you. It's good to always try out new things, mm -hmm. even if it's not your indigenous food. Yes, there is always room. It binds for you. Together. Yes, please. Yes, because please. we like it or not. Yeah, we use some of the ingredients from other parts of yes, the country please. in our various cuisines. Very well. Now so, the garnish. Yes, please. I want to have some red on top of this. This actually brings out the color. You know, it's, it's not just to cook. Cook to impress. Mm -hmm. Cook to attract. Mm -hmm. Then you have the ring onion. Place side by side. How the four. What color is missing here now? The green. Aha! Yeah, the green is still coming in. <laughs> the green is still coming in. And it's coming in form of. Yeah, we actually shred it. Not too thin. What do you know? This is Otazi. This is Otazi. Oh my god. This. <laughs> I can't wait to really be beautiful. Yeah, please, let's give. Our board, let's get some garnish. You, know? mm. you can spread around some grains just to capture what you have originally in your plate. So, please, this part of garnishing and presentation. Yeah? yeah. So, guys, oh my god, look at this. Then, our IKD is coming in, you know, because, and guess what, you know IKD is best eaten when it's cool. That's what we said. Yeah. So we have this. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Fatima and I humbly present to you Chicken Unkobi Sabrit IKD. Okay, so now we are set to eat, but you know we can actually serve this. We water it down. Yes, with some <laughs> sugarcane juice. Wow. But since sugarcane juice is also locally made. And the natural and Look at my cup. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Yeah, locally made cup. So. Hmm. And being my guest, please, this is for you. Oh, thank you, Chef. Yeah. Thank you so much. May but I sure. wish you could. Um, Get another cup. No, I Even want you to enjoy this because I actually made this myself and I want you to taste it. Yeah. Mm. Wow.
But if I'm getting you tempted, please, I'm sorry for you, but I just have to do this. Mm. That's the whole idea. We sell what we have to the world. So if you really are interested, it's not a bad idea that you look for where you can get this and thrill your taste. In the Jokainu! Praise Lord! Delicacy there. Unkwabi is served with locally prepared agidi. The taste, I tell you, is in its eating. Hasten to get yourself a serving portion if you are based here. And if you've just arrived, welcome to Niger. Get adventurous with your taste buds. Don't be left out. I'm expecting your messages and comments as usual. Remain blessed and be my guest same time next day. Bye-bye.